Hello and welcome to another ZBrush for iPad getting started tutorial. Continuing on from our previous video, we're going to talk a little bit more about subtools. In this case, we're going to talk about inserting new subtools, foldering, and transposing multiple subtools at the same time. So we have our trusty demo soldier over here, but let's look at this top bar over here under the subtool palette. If you click on the right button, you'll see I can rename my subtool. So I can click this and then type any name I want. I can select all low and bring them all to their lowest subdivision. If I click all high, it's going to bring every subtool to its highest subdivision. We can copy and paste subtools and duplicate, which is going to duplicate the current subtool. I can click append and insert. Now, Append and insert might seem like they're the same thing, but if you click append, you're presented with a bunch of primitives that you can choose to add to your subtool stack. I can even pick a Z sphere, I can pick a helix 3D, a terrain 3D, a cube, a cone. But if I append this, so you can see it can switch between append and insert if you misclicked before. If I click, for example, this ring 3D while I'm appending, you can see the little icon. It tells you what it's going to do. So append will always insert that subtool at the bottom of the stack. If I insert, however, it's going to insert that right next to the subtool that I had selected. So if I select this shirt and I insert a ring 3D, it's going to insert that ring right below that shirt subtool. We can also obviously delete, then we can delete other, which means it will delete everything else other than the subtool you have selected. And delete all is gonna delete all the subtools. So let's talk about foldering. Let's say I wanna neatly organize all the subtools so they can be easily selected or they can be easily hidden or revealed. Let's say I want to have a folder that is just the upper portion of this soldier's clothing. I can select this shirt and then click this next little button that has a little folder icon. And I can select and type in anything. Let's call this uh, clothing. And now we have a folder on our subtool stack. I can press this little arrow that's going to collapse the folder. So I can drag this vest, for example, and maybe even the backpack and the shoulder guard. Now, a cool little thing we can do with the gizmo, however, is that we can select just these multiple subtools and then move them around all at once. So to exemplify that, I'm going to select my gizmo icon over here on the bottom. And if I move, as you can see, it's just moving that subtool, as we've mentioned previously. If I tap this little button on the right, on the top of the gizmo, it's going to activate transform all selected subtools. So this is uh, internally what we call the pizza box selection. So in this case, you can see the mesh is kind of like grayed out. I can use my select brushes like so and tap which subtools I want to move. Keep in mind that this will take into account any masking you have in that subtool. So if you have a subtool that's partially masked, that mask won't move. So now if I move this, it's going to move whatever I had selected. And now a cool thing that you can do, it's let's say now that I want these shoulder pads selected, these knee pads, and the armband, and the belt selected. So now, and let me unselect that shirt. So now if I move it around, you can see I'm just moving those subtools. If I go to my subtool palette and click this folder icon now, it's going to say, hey, you have visible subtools that are currently activated with multi transpose, which is the technical name of that feature I just showed you. If I click this now, I have a new folder that just contains the subtools that were selected using this multi transpose selector. Another thing you can do is actually go over here to one of these and long press. And now there's a little feature here called transpose set. 
If I click this, it will automatically select all of those subtools that were inside that folder. So if I now want to just move all those miscellaneous, I can come over here to MISC and transpose set, and it's going to select those subtools so that I can move them. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.